Hi everybody, it's January 18, 2018. I came over here to the Morphed Composite and sure enough, we have a lot of signatures of very powerful frequencies being used. Check out this North Pacific up here. Look at all of these rings. Boom. And South. Hope my cursor is showing, but right here, boom, frequencies. Bad, but did you notice on the right what looks like confetti being thrown? Wow. All right. Well, let's take a look at the hmm, uh, global tube. What is this? Oh, I didn't put it on the right one. I'm sorry. North Atlantic. Ah, it does look like confetti is being thrown from Africa over to the East Coast of United States and Canada. Are we going to call that a glitch? It's a glitch. Or are they using frequencies? These frequencies, by the way, are used very often worldwide to keep many of us very, very, very low, incapable, incompetent, used for mind control and they use them because they are very effective I had a private message from a subscriber in Scotland who said that they were having snow bombs and thunder snow and she was up pretty much the entire night with her tinnitus from the frequencies when they create these weather events they do need frequencies to do it so um, very often when these hurricanes were coming across I could feel the frequencies being used the buzzing that I would hear the high-pitched tones all of it just got worse how are you guys feeling, especially you who are sensitive to the frequencies? I've really been struggling physically, cognitively, emotionally. My sleep is getting worse. It's very... Um, <laughs> there are no words. There are no words. So if anybody knows what this confetti is, uh, would you educate us and drop a comment below? Also, this is the worldwide. I'm not going to go through it. I was going to go through it. Um, there, there's just massive dumping of uh, chemicals, heavy metals, no doubt biologicals on all of us all over the world. This is this is today, January, January. 18 and it's heartbreaking to see all of this. I will say you guys in Scotland, Ireland, uh, England, I hardly ever see your country very often. I get to see little, little, little bits of it today. Yesterday. There. Ireland is pretty much covered. Yeah, I have, you know, I do periodically go through this and check out, you know, the world and see what's going on. And the massive, massive, massive chem, uh, chemtrailing all over. Except in this portion of Africa. Very little in Israel. 
This is Saudi Arabia, by the way. Very little in Saudi Arabia that I've noticed. Australia, uh, well, there are parts of your country that remain clear, but you're a pretty big country, and there's a lot of desolate area, so they probably avoid those areas. I don't know. I don't know. These are evil, evil people, but <laughs> look at the United States. Jesus. I mean, it looks so like somebody really just threw a, a thick layer of white paint over right here. But it's so obvious, it's so unfortunate that we can't get through to people because they are not hiding any of the signatures of the frequencies at use, of the chemtrailing. Um, no, these are not natural clouds. Let's go to IntelliCast. Go to Satellite first. Not a cloud. Not natural. Artificial. Clouds don't square off as they are doing right here. Right down here. That's caused by frequencies. And all of the lines, you know it, you know it, guys, right? You know it, but there's been some massive chemtrailing going on, geoengineering going on off the coast of Washington, Oregon, California. Today, actually, it doesn't look that bad. But it's obvious that the, these are not clouds. All right, we, my God. Well, look at the ultra low frequencies that you've got going up here in Montana, in Washington, in Oregon, and in the um, Idaho. Obvious weather engineering taking place. obvious ultra low frequencies being set off above Everett <coughs> excuse me and these are these ultra low frequencies are really generating throughout large and expansive area Very large expense. So if you're not feeling well in Washington, Montana, Idaho, Oregon, and California, it's understandable. If you're feeling different than you were feeling prior to all of this ultra low frequency being generated right in this area. And the expanse of this as, as well is pretty intense. Look at these ultra low frequencies over here. But the bands are getting wider. Okay, so the ultra low frequencies are set off from here. You see the thin uh, and the, the the beam gets wider as it extends itself. So you have ultra low frequencies also being set off in two separate locations, north of Missoula and kind of southwest of Great Falls. Not good. Look at this. They don't hide anything anymore. It's so in our face. 
engineered weather, engineered by man. Look at this. I, I mean, <laughs> meteorologists look at these satellites. How could they not see this? More ultra low frequencies being set off just north of Boise. Oh my God. And you have ultra low frequencies being set off here, uh, south of Eureka, south of Fortuna, close to the coast. You can see all of the lines, the very defined lines right here. And they spread out. But you also have ultra low frequencies coming out of, well, they look close to Oroville. Here are the lines, and here it fans out. You see this? So ultra low frequencies being set off very close to the Oroville Dam. Not that, that's not good. If you don't know anything about what happened with the Oroville band, Dam, just put in the search bar on YouTube and there are many videos. But they're supposed to have been um, renovating the dam, fixing the dam, and cracks have already been exposed. And now you see these ultra low frequencies in this area. And we can't get through to our fellow Americans. That this destruction is coming from domestic enemies. The domestic enemies that nobody seems to really have ever wanted to take seriously in this country. But we've got them, and they're killing us, and it's only going to continue. It's only going to get worse. I hope you're all, I hope you're all feeling okay, but I did get a lot of comments from subscribers. They saying that they had the flu or flu-like symptoms or respiratory infections. Many of those who are struggling with some physical illness, having great difficulty trying to get rid of it. A um, lot of comments from subscribers having difficulty with the frequencies. A lot of I'm hearing from uh, many who are having great difficulty thinking and having difficulty with organizing their thoughts. So let me know how you guys are doing. Ciao, guys.